In this video, you'll learn how to install this simple Fallout 4 downgrader, allowing you to use the Fallout 4 script extender and any mods that require it, as well as the new Creation Club content provided by the next gen update without any issues. Message me on Discord if you need assistance. All of the necessary files are linked in order in the description. To start with, we need to install the Fallout 4 script extender, which is very simple. Download the file manually through the Nexus Mods link provided below and unpack the F4SE files. Open your root directory through Steam by right-clicking the title, clicking Properties in the drop-down, then clicking Install the files in the pop-up menu, followed by the Browse button in the top right corner. The root directory is most commonly located in File Explorer under C, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4, as shown on screen. Now, copy the f4sc.dll, f4scloader.exe, and the data folder to the root directory you just opened. The SRC files can be ignored as they are for programmers. With that done, install Address Library and the Backported Archive 2 support system with your mod organizer. The Backported support system needs to be run before or above any mods that make changes to the HUD to avoid any errors. Lastly, download the simple downgrader, unpack the files, and place them in your root directory. Then, just run the fo4downgrader.exe. Microsoft Defender may flag this as an unsafe file. Simply click the underlined More Info drop-down near the top left, and a new button will appear in the bottom right corner that says Run Anyway. Click that, and a command window should appear. When it shows patching successful, you may close the patcher. Remember to always check files for threats before running them. It shouldn't be assumed that they are safe just because others use them. Also, if you get the message invalid executable with hash aborted, you may have the wrong patch version for your version of F4SE. Other versions of the patch can be installed using the same process and can be found below the main file on the Nexus page. You can find out what F4SE version you are running by entering the game, pressing the tilde key, and typing get F4SE version, then pressing enter. This has been a painfully detailed breakdown of how to install this simple patch. Check out our other content for more mods. I don't usually do tutorials.